this is David, the Prepper Bookshelf, and I've got an interesting book for you today. Amateur Rocket Motor Construction from David Sleater. Okay, pretty thick book, great reference book. Um, plans and, and tooling and, and uh, all sorts of interesting instructions for building, you know, rockets, amateur rockets, model rockets. Um, talks about, you know, different kinds of chemicals. Um, that you can use, uh, how to get different types of materials, um, you know, different kinds of tools, um, and building rockets of, of all sorts of sizes. And, and it is legal for you to build, you know, rockets, amateur hobby rockets, you know, huge, big, you know, 10 foot tall rockets. Um, you just can't use them in any kind of anti-personnel, you know, destructive uh, way, right? If you put more than an ounce on there of, of explosive, not propellant, but explosive, um, then by definition, by federal law, then that makes it a weapon of mass destruction and then you go to jail for a long, long time. So uh, uh, be careful with what you're doing and, and know the law, but if you want to mess around and, and make things that fly, right, uh, then, you know, this is a great, great book to have. Uh, homemade sodium nitrate, you know, uh, potassium nitrate extracted from uh, gopher gassers, you know, all sorts of, of um, ways to make tooling, to make rockets. You know, this is very, very picture heavy and procedure heavy, and it needs to be because this is a pretty exacting thing because you are making, you know, a, a, a controlled explosion basically. You know, you're, you're using a lot of uh, energetic materials to, to move things, so, you know. 54 designs, um, tested, proven, five homemade propellant formulas. You can get speeds up to supersonic, you know, and altitudes up to 7,000 feet. So um, very, very interesting. And I'm sure that if you're a, a prepper, you could probably think of some, some interesting things to do with this. You know, maybe, um, you know, shoot a, a camera up on a, on a um, parachute and get pictures of your surroundings. You know, um, I have seen clouds for rain, all sorts of cool stuff. But anyway, I think it's an interesting book, and if you're looking for that sort of stuff, then uh, that's a good book to have in your library. So anyway, till next time, you can always catch us online at thepurplebookshelf.com. Thanks.